Okay, in this video I want to talk about solving first order linear differential equations. And the form of a first order linear differential equation it says you have a derivative <clears throat> and you can uh, add to that the product of a function of x times y and then on the right side you also have another function of x. Um, so if you'll look at our problem here, um, notice this is in fact a um, linear differential equation. Here's our dy dx. Um, this will be our term p of x. Okay, so it'll be negative 2x. <clears throat> and so there's our y equal to, and here's our q of x on the right side. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, so it says to solve this, what, what you do is whatever the p of x is, you actually take e and raise it to p of x and then you multiply both sides of this differential equation by that and then you integrate both sides. So it seems a little strange but uh, it's a technique that works. So really it says to find this, they sometimes call this the uh, integrating factor. So to find this integrating factor we'll take e and raise it to the negative 2x power dx. Well if we integrate negative 2x we'll just get negative x squared. <clears throat> okay, so if you integrate negative 2x, we simply get negative x squared. And it says this is what we're going to have to multiply both sides of our um, equation by. <clears throat> so, okay, well, let's do that. So on the left side, I'm going to get e to the negative x squared times y prime minus 2xy. And then this will be equal to x times e to the negative x squared. And what we have to do now is we have to multiply um, both sides, or again, integrate both sides, excuse me. Notice if we multiply this out, the left side too, we'll get e to the negative x squared times y prime plus 2x e to the negative x squared y. Okay, so I'm just distributing that, that term out. And the right side we'll leave alone, x e to the negative x squared. Okay, so this is the thing that, again, I'm going to have to clean up and integrate here. The key thing in this problem is, one of the key things is this left side, okay, so we, again, we have to integrate both sides. That's what we're going to do now. I should tack a dx onto the left side as well. Notice if you integrate the left side, you'll actually get that integrating factor, e to the negative x squared times y. Okay, and take the derivative of this thing. If you take the derivative, what will you get? Well, you'll leave the first part alone, then you'll get y prime, which is this part. Plus, if you take the derivative of e to the negative x squared, you'll get the 2x e to the negative x squared times y term. Okay, so this is the whole trick, that if you integrate the left side, you just get your integrating factor times y. Okay, we still do have to integrate the right-hand side, though, so that one will be a touch well, a touch trick here, I guess, not not too much uh, work. This is, again, the only one that you'll really have to, you know, think about or use your integration techniques on. So on the right side, we can just do this with a u substitution. It says if we let u be negative x squared, well, then du will be negative 2x dx. Okay, the way I think about it is we want to replace an x dx. So if I divide both sides by negative 2, I'll get negative one-half du equals x dx. So then if I integrate that, um, if I relabel all of that, the e to the negative x squared will turn into the e to the u. And then the x dx that's left over, I can take the one-half, and my dx will now turn into a, a du. Okay, so again, we're done with the left side. We've actually already integrated that side. On the right side, we'll get negative one-half e to the u, but again, we know that u is negative x squared plus c. And at this point, um, technically, you've got your solution here. So you could always even go ahead and divide both sides, I guess, um, just to get your y term alone. Um, so we can do that real quick. It says that we'll simply get, hey, just divide both sides, we'll get y equals um, negative one-half 
e to the negative x squared plus c divided by e to the negative x squared. Um, and of course we could clean this up a little bit further, but I'm going to be lazy and stop right there. Um, if you're looking at stuff about differential equations, I assume that your algebra is probably okay to clean that up a little bit. So, all right, this is the basic idea with these uh, first order first order linear differential equations. Again, you multiply by this integrating factor on the left side, so you take e and raise it to the p of x. And again, when you integrate the left side, you'll get that integrating factor times y. And again, that's the whole trick of, of doing this in the first place. So, all right, I hope this makes some sense and helps you out out there.